On November 14, 2012, 11 former Boilermakers made their way to St. Louis, Missouri, a trip arranged by the Boilermakers Union. But they weren't here to merely tour. In the early 60s, these men, as part of a force of 250 Boilermakers, had built 80% of the sections for one of the most widely recognized monuments in the world. For some, it was the first time to see it in person. This is their story. The Gateway Arch stands 630 feet tall and was completed in 1965. Not including the internal structure, it was clad in 900 tons of stainless steel. At that time, the largest use of it in a single project. My dad was the boilermaker and he welded on the arch. And so we decided, in, sort of in his memory, as well as the rest of the guys that had passed away and that were still living and hadn't been recognized, that we wanted to do that. Try to get them here and get them recognized. Right, and that, like that is absolutely It was a pressure job. It's uh, uh, stressful, pushing overtime and stuff like that. Seven days a week and t at least ten hours per day. And so we had no days off whatsoever. The friggin' noise in that plant was unbelievable. Good thing I was young. Everybody that you talk to, they think this thing was fabricated here on the ground and put up there, you know, and it didn't happen that way. So after the first two, the larger sections, then all the, all the sections, including the one we're standing on right now, were filled in Warren, PA. Work was what counted the most. You were just supposed to do the job. Just get it done and get it done right. It took uh, about 27 months to fabricate. And then uh, seven months to uh, take it down. We had to do a good job so that the people that erected it down here could do their good job too. And back in the shop, they used to talk about the guys putting up the sections, that they could only stay up here so long because it was like this. And some of them got seasick. My biggest concern when I went to work at PDM was being able to get home without running out of gas. <laughs> Did you guys have big men? <laughs> we had two max at PDM. The one was the one they welded in corners with. We had one guy could do that. One guy. We kind of took it for granted, you know, another job, another day, another day at the work. But when you get down here, the pictures does, just don't do it any justice. It's, just, it's magnificently beautiful. We did our part, and they did their part here. And we are finally now getting some kind of recognition after, what, over 50 years. Feels real good. People 100 years from now could say, well, I wonder how that got there. How'd they do that? Men did that. Real people did that, yeah.